This is Twit. It's time for Shortcuts Corner, the part of the show where you write in with your Shortcuts Corner request, or Shortcuts request, and Rosemary Orchard, our Shortcuts expert, provides a response. Our listener, Alex, has written in and said the following. Hi, Micah and Rosemary. My father-in-law has trouble at times remembering to take his medication regularly. He uses various apps and tools to help him record when he takes it, but if he doesn't get an audible alert or notification that it's time to take it, he likely will miss it. What I would want out of a shortcut or automation is the ability for him to somehow log his medication at any given time in the health app or otherwise, and then five hours from any time that the medication is logged, have a reminder or more ideally an alarm for him to take his medication again. The next time he logs his medication, if it's before the next alarm or reminder, that reminder should be reset again for five hours from the time he logged the medication. So basically, when I take my medication, set a timer for, for an alarm five hours from now, no matter what. Uh, even having done some extensive shortcuts, automations, and programming myself, I couldn't figure this out. This may be a bit of a head scratcher, but I hope you can come up with some creative solutions. Thank you, Alex. P.S. As an added challenge, there should be a way to disable this shortcut or not have it act in the middle of the night so it doesn't disturb him if he's sleeping. Oh, my. As if it wasn't complicated enough already uh, with the added challenge. Rosemary, yeah. Well, yeah, what's what's possible here? Is it possible? Well. I mean, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is I think that you can uh, get pretty close to what you're after here, Alex. Uh, but the bad news is, is you're not going to be able to log the medication uh, in the health app or indeed any medication app that I know of that is currently publicly available. Uh, there may be something that I know of that's in the works, but I'm not allowed to talk about it yet. So I have um, the health app and I am running the iOS 18 beta here, folks. So if you are looking at my screen and going, oh, that looks a little bit funny for me, uh, you know, at least right now compared to the uh, iOS 17, it's okay. These actions are the same. So the health app only has four actions, find health samples, get details of health sample, log health sample and log workout. Well, taking a medication shouldn't be a workout. I mean, depending on the size of the pills your doctor has prescribed you, maybe it is, but let's go with log health sample because that seems the most likely. Uh, but unfortunately, as we can see here, there are a number of things for like abdominal cramps and so on, but I'm not seeing anything for medication at all, which is a real shame. So I had a little think about this and I thought that the easiest thing to do uh, for you, Alex, would be to add a uh, icon to your father-in-law's home screen, which is what he uses to log the medication. And then if he logs the medication uh, as taken, then what we need to do is to create an alarm for the future and disable any, uh, you know, immediate future alarms. So assuming that we were running this, you know, based on him tapping the home screen to say, hey, I took the medication. Um, now, Depending on what information you need, if you actually need the record of what he's taken and when, then you might want to look into something like a data jar, or you could actually go with numbers. Numbers has a nice little action. I'm just scrolling down to it to um, uh, add a row to the top or bottom of a table. So you could actually just add log something in numbers every time your father-in-law logs the medication as taken. Um, but what we are going to start with is we're going to start with the clock. Uh, because the clock app allows us to get uh, our alarms uh, and I've scrolled past clock. There it is. So we are going to find alarms um, and I am going to uh, say where the label is medication. Um, and if I can spell medication instead of medication, that's even better. Um, and uh, what we will just do is we will just add a little repeat uh, with each. Tell you what, let's make this a little better where uh, and just say that, yeah, we want uh, the label for is medication and we could look for a specific time, but unfortunately that's not what we want. We do want all of the, the medication alarms. Um, and then using the repeat with each. So we're going to go over each medication alarm um, and we can then uh, delete this alarm if you are using iOS 18, but I'm going to guess your father-in-law isn't yet uh, running iOS 18. So we're going to go with the toggle the alarm, but change that. Okay. You're going to want to make sure that you set it to turn off the alarm. Okay. So turn off that show when run as well. So we're going to find all of our alarms where the label is medication, and then we're going to turn it off. 
And then we are going to adjust our current date. Um, so we're going to say add five and then change this to hours to date. And then we can just scroll over and use that little magic variable current date that is always there. So we're adding five hours to now. Now, Alex, you said you would like it to not disturb him if he's asleep in the middle of the night. Well, I think what we need to do is we need to actually uh, say when when is bedtime? Okay, when should he not be taking his medication? Say after 10 p.m. Um, so we are going to format this date, okay, um, in the if statement. So I've added an if statement where it could change this. And our format is going to be HH in capitals, okay? HH in capitals is going to give us the hours in 24 hour time. And so that means that after 12, it doesn't go back to one, it goes 13, 14, and so on. And so now in our if statement, uh, what we can do is, and I'm gonna have to pop that into a number because I forgot, shortcuts is very smart, but it's not the smartest. So I'm just gonna pop in my adjusted date and I'm gonna reformat that. So you uh, pop in adjusted date, and then you scroll up a little bit on it and then you change it to custom and then I just need to set this to capital HH. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so there we go. And then if our number perfect uh, is greater than, and let's say after 9 p.m. Okay, if it's gonna be after 9 p.m., we don't want to use that time. Okay, then what we can do is we can just say, insert a date. Uh, and I don't know, say 8 a.m. tomorrow, is that a good time uh, to be reminded about your education? And then we can just change this to a specified date. Use, so we're using the date action. And then we just say 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, and now we need an alarm. So we're gonna add an alarm and we're going to create an alarm for the if results. And we're gonna change this to call it medication. And that is it. Very simple. It's not necessarily going to log it. If you do want to log it, then I think you should have a look at the numbers action to add a row to a table so that you can just add a row to a table with the current date and time. But this is going to uh, turn off any future medication alarm and turn on a new one. And if it's after uh, 10 p.m., then it's going to set the alarm for 8 a.m. the next day. So I think that is going to do what you need to do in that it's going to remind him. And then he just has to tap on this, which you can add to your home screen by using the share. Um, and then you just scroll down and go with add to home screen. You can choose a different icon for it if you would like. Uh, so there's a little pill in there. If you search for that, uh, maybe not the poop emoji, uh, but you can use the pill and then you can just give it a name so that you have that on the home screen. And if that's how he logs his uh, medication as taken, then that will do the trick, I hope. And if it doesn't, then please write back in and uh, give us uh, some more information and we can see if we can give you any more help. But that is certainly what I would do for the uh, time being to set those reminders to take medication. And uh, another little bonus, you can also add emoji into uh, alarm labels. So you can add a little uh, pill icon and maybe even put the name of his medication in there if you wanted to. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS Today.